Andrew, Katrina, Sandy, Michael, just a few notorious storms, and they all started as tropical storms and turned into monster hurricanes. Names are issued for each ocean basin, but have you ever wondered who picks them and why? The short answer? To avoid confusion. Forecasters in 1950 experimented with identifying storms with a name versus a location, helpful especially when there was more than one storm, but some were still perplexed. So in 1953, those names were switched to short, memorable female names. Alice was the first in the Atlantic. 26 years later, male names were added to the Atlantic list, and the list has alternated between male and female names ever since. Who names them today? The World Meteorological Organization. The WMO is responsible for retiring hurricane names as well, if a cyclone is deadly or incredibly destructive. It's replaced with another name with the same letter. Once we pass the last name, the Greek alphabet is used. The 2005 hurricane season used six Greek names after Wilma.